Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to do the video that finished in first place in the Patreon poll of the week is none other than Silver Lake by Hessa Holo, Holopainen. I'm gonna go with that. Ah, whatever. The name of the song is Storm. Now, I'm gonna break this down to you because I'm not sure you're aware of what's happening as far as Silver Lake is concerned. So, Hessa Holopainen, he's the guitar player, one of the lead guitar players from Amorphous. He's releasing his debut solo project, which is called Silver Lake. So that's why it's Silver Lake. By him. Okay, because I thought the song was Silver Lake. No, the name of the song is Storm. The album is self-titled, so the name of the album is Silver Lake. That's the same name as, as the band, the project that he created. Now, he's the guitar player for Amorphous, and uh, he's the main composer of this record. It's his solo album, obviously. But he invited, there's nine tracks on the album. There's one instrumental track, and the other eight tracks feature seven different uh, guest vocalists. So there's two tracks with the same vocalist, which is the vocalist from Catatonia. He's in it. Oh. And then each track, each of the other tracks has a different vocalist. So Tommy Janssen from Amorphous is on one of the tracks. There's a few guys uh, from different bands uh, on the track. So it's a very interesting project. Yeah, it sounds interesting. I actually got more excited for the, the, um, the instrumental thing than when you said Catatonia. I'm excited for that. I want to listen to that. But... The instrumental one. I've been getting into more instrumental. So stuff. the first track on the album is an instrumental track, and then from that point on, every track has a different uh, lead singer. So the second track on the album features the, the lead singer from Catatonia, and he's also featured in the last track of the album. And then in between, you get different guys coming in. Now, there's only one track uh, with harsh vocals. I already heard the album. I've already heard this song because uh, I got the album f for review a couple of weeks ago. There's only one song with harsh vocals. That's the one featuring Tommy Janssen of Amorphous. That's the only one with harsh vocals. All the other ones are, are, are clean vocals. Bjorn Strid is also one of, uh, from uh, Soil Work yeah. in the Night Flight Orchestra. He's also one of the guys. So I've heard this track, because I already pre-recorded a review, but I haven't seen the video, and, and this is all news so to you. You're that, just discovering everything. So who's here. in this song? Oh, I can't remember his name. Hacken something. I can't remember what his last name is. Okay. Uh, are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I stand on the shore, praying under the sky. Telling me more to know or should I believe This is my room Where I will grow From now
like I said, I had heard the song before I heard the album. The album comes out May 28th on Nuclear Blast. I've had the album for about a week now. And I think I've heard the album at least... Well, the day that, the day that I recorded the review, I heard it at least 10 times. I, I can't get in. The album is only like 38 minutes, 39 minutes. It's, oh, it's, so it's not long. So you, you can go through it like at a nice, uh, at a nice click, right? And the, the, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to ruin the album review. But this is an album that doesn't really live off of the structure of the record. It feels like a compilation because every song has a different singer, right? So every song has feels different, sounds different. Now, sim some of the same elements are, are the same on every single track. But the yeah, way they're guessing, presented to you, they come across differently. Yeah, I'm guessing so. this one is going to be is different than the one for the guy from Catatonia. Oh, completely different. Because I feel like that one is going to be more... It's, it's a little bit more darker. It has safe. a little bit darker mood. Yeah. Th that's the thing. Each lead singer that, that he invited own... brought their own DNA, brought their own fingerprint. So the songs uh, uh, feel different. They sound different and they feel different and they match what you would expect out of a song from one of their from from their bands, from their own respective bands, if you will. Not not always the case, but you could feel that the DNA is present there. Let me just say this. This dude, he looks like one of those tantric uh, sex gurus at one of those yeah, all-couple retreats. Was going, I was actually going to say that. I was going to say he's like a guru of, of sex. Because at, 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 at one of those couple retreats where you go throwing, to where you go to re-engage yourself with your partner. Exactly, and that's what was I was throwing me a little bit off this the song because the song itself is so it's so peaceful in the in the, in the verses and in the, in the chords it kind of puts you in a good mood like a, a dancing you know in the countryside mood. But looking at the video and looking at him with the the shots of the water coming up and, and his pose and, and the and the and the, the shirt he's wearing and everything. I, I, by the way, I have a white shirt like that. I'm, I think I'm gonna rock it this summer. Are you gonna? Rock? Okay. I'm, I, I don't know if I can pull it off oh. the way he does it. I have to unbutton that. He looks like way. you without the beard, though. Well, well, he has a beard. He just doesn't but have. He, yeah, he doesn't have the growth. It's not as glorious. It's not as glorious. But he he kind of inspired me. He was also rocking cowboy boots. He also had a really good haircut. Oh, I love his hair. His hair is magnificent, magnificent. So I I, I think. He has ins I don't think, I know, he has inspired me. Because I have a white shirt like that. But I think my white shirt is a size too small, which I also think his was. Yeah, because I, so, uh, I can see the belly yeah, when he puts his so hand up in the air. I, he's definitely, he's definitely, he's given me the confidence. This summer, guys, this summer, I'm going to post a video on Instagram of me doing a cover of this song. And you're going to be... With jeans. I don't have cowboy boots, so I'm going to have to wear something else. I'll seem to... Nah, I'll just wear flip... I, we don't have to film my my feet. Oh, just but film make, for... That makes the, the outfit. I, I, have, I have the jeans. I have the jeans. And you have the shirt. And I have the shirt. And you have the haircut. And I have the haircut. I have all the tools. All the tools. So this summer, this summer, I'm going to do a cover of this video. I, I think it, I think I have to. I think I have to at this point. Oh my God, no, I'm really excited about yeah. that. I'm really excited. All right, so let's get into this song. Uh, let's break it down. And before we do, I want to say one more thing. By the way, this album right now stands on my top three favorite albums of the year so far. It's absolutely incredible. I don't think... Uh, you could label the record as a prog album because there, definitely there's a lot of prog influ influences. And if you start looking at the bands who he invited to be the guest vocalists on the songs... There's a lot of prog uh, guys coming in for the song, so you, it's definitely it's a definitely an album that has a huge prog uh, backbone to it, if you will. But I wouldn't go as far as to say that this is a prog album. This is a, a music album, an album of music, of music, and great music at that. So I think if you start trying to fit this into a genre, you're gonna lose. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna waste your time. Just listen to the fucking album and enjoy it. Magnificent. From the opening track, which is an instrumental track, from that song on, you, you, every song is pulling you in a different direction, right? So you can listen to in any order you want. It doesn't really matter. But they're all so good, so it doesn't really matter anyways. It's an album that really lives off of the strength of the individual tracks, not the strength of the collective. Of the, whole, you, album. Of the whole album. So it's well. a perfect album just to choose a song at a time. You to... can put it on shuffle. You can listen to whatever song you want at any given time. It doesn't. Nothing gets lost. But it's in my top three so far albums of the year. I, 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 there's not, there hasn't been that many albums this year that I've reviewed that I've kept the whole album on my playlist. Except for this one. Th th this one is one of them. It's not the only one, but it's definitely one of them that I've kept the whole album on my playlist. I just love every song. I love every song. It's incredible. Oh, the the ones from Catatonia. You oh, I'll love definitely. Those. Those ones and the instrumental track will probably be my favorites. I think there's going to be other ones. And maybe in there the harsh vocal one. 
Oh, the, the, the dude from Leprous, he's in one of the songs. He has one of the most incredible clean vocals, not just in metal, in the world. This guy. What, oh my God. He's incredible. He's incredible. And he, he oh, kills now it. I wanna, now I want that one too. He, he kills it. He, he, he sounds like the dude from AHA at times, right? Uh, well, he's done a cover uh, of one of the AHA songs. Uh, it's, it's incredible. It took me a while when you said Annette, that. you know the that she was in uh, Among Stars. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. She has a song as well. Oh, with she's the lead singer. Okay, I'm gonna need this full album. Then. Uh, like I already, well, I already told you every guy who sings on, on, yeah, on so the album. You're already right? giving me an, an all star lineup. So it's incredible. The song where Bjorn Strid is featured as the vocalist is perhaps the heaviest song on the album. It sounds like an amorphous song featuring Bjorn Strid from Soil Work. That's how that song kind of comes together. I, I'm just hyping you guys, but you know what? Check out my album review when it comes out. It's not going to come out until May. The album doesn't come out until May 28th, so I'm not going to post the album review until closer to the release date, like two weeks before the release date. But I'm giving you guys enough hints. and I'm giving you guys enough meat on the bone to that be, if you haven't pre-ordered this, this shit, pre-order it like right now. You're not going to regret it. In my top three albums of the year so far. Now, with without any further ado, let's get into the song. What did you think... Uh, let's go about the musical side before we go into the vocals. What did you think about the musical side? I mean, the musical side was 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 cool. I mean, I wasn't expecting. Um, I mean, solo projects can go anywhere, so I wasn't really expecting it to sound just like amorphous. I was expecting, and it doesn't. It, this, not not this one. Not this one. I was expecting it to go more in a different in a different route, okay. and that's what that's what it did. It went in a, a a different route. I was expecting it to be a little heavier. Were you expecting to be more guitar driven? More because guitar, he's, a, he's guitar a guitar player. player. That's what I was expecting. I was expecting to be it's more guitar driven and a lot more guitar flares just because it's his solo project. So I thought he'd do that. But the song was more, um, I, don't, I don't know, just more vocal based and the whole kind of scenery based. Um, but yeah, the song, the song was good. It had a good groove to it. You just nailed not only the song, but you nailed pretty much what the whole album is. I was expecting the album to be in this song. Well, we're talking about this song. Well, the, the, I, I was the, expecting it to be. The, I was going to say the instrumental better be. Uh, oh, the instrumental is all guitar. Exactly. Uh, well, it's not all guitar. I mean, there's other stuff happening. But, but I'm, I'm saying, saying that the guitar is the, the one pushing the song forward. But I was expecting overall to be more guitar driven because he's a guitar player. So, so I was you expecting. Think, you would think you'd put more. No, it's. In there. I, I don't feel like there's one element uh, in the sound that drives the songs. I actually, if there's one thing that drives each and every single song, is the vocals. I always felt like listening to this to this song, and when you listen to this track, the vocals are the ones pushing the song forward. The, the, the music is, is like a, a soundtrack in the background, so it's not very guitar driven, which to me was a surprise. Now, one thing I absolutely love on this track, and I love in the album, is the keyboards. Because they come across on every track differently. So you're using keyboards, but you're not using them in the same way, with the same sound, with the same effect on every single song. It becomes a little bit repetitive. It's not the case. In this song, it kind of reminds me of Jean-Michel Jarre. Very atmospheric. The keyboards come in almost like a, a breeze from the ocean, and they kind of come through the track, get out of the track, they come back in again. It's just another layer that's mixed in with the guitars and everything else, and you don't you don't really feel it. It's not It's not in your face. It's not like... It's not like a, a a Beast in Black song. Do you see what I'm saying? Where the keyboards is almost like the element that's pushing yeah. the track forward. I love the keyboards on this song. It has this Jean-Michel Jarre vibe to it. And that's something that I really enjoyed about the keyboards, not just on this track, but all around, is that they're, they're there sometimes to create melody, sometimes to create atmosphere, but they're never in the forefront. They're just kind of like a breeze. And in this song, they really come in as a breeze. They almost sound like an ocean breeze. And, and that to me was one of the things that I, from a, from a soundscape perspective, I fell in love with this song from that, from that, with that aspect of how the keyboards give this ocean breeze feel yeah, to it. Yeah, because it did have that, which is perfect uh, lining with the video. Perfect. And, and, and then the sound becomes all about all the different elements. The only time the guitars jump into the forefront is during the solo. Outside of that, you're more focused on the vocals than you are on anything else. And then the chorus is very, the, 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 the verses are very smooth. Very controlled almost. And then the big explosion is in the chorus. But the song becomes a little bit bigger, becomes a little bit fatter. The vocals also change. The tone and the delivery change. They become a little bit more robust. I absolutely love this. Love this. And, and this summer, expect it. I'm going to do a cover of this video. Yeah, no, I, I'm not helping you. Actually, you know what? Well, you got to help me film I'll it. I'll help you film that one. I'll help okay. you film There's one thing I'll never help you film, but that, that'll help you film. Okay. 
I have some great ideas for this. All right, guys. Anything else you want to add? Uh, Besides the fact that now I have to put the whole album on, yeah, on, on your phone. Definitely. And, and you're a lucky bastard because the album doesn't come out until May 28th and, and we already have it. All right. So on that note, guys, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See ya. See ya.